Wow Story Time. Reading Wow Stories with you. When you think of Chinese paintings, what do you think of? Koi fish paintings, lotus paintings, mountain paintings. Today, we will read a story about a Chinese famous painter, and he is very good at painting horses. The Magic Horse of Hangang, written by Chang Jing Hong. When he was little, Hangang loved to draw, but he was unable to buy brushes and paper, because his family was too poor. To help his parents by earning a little money, he went to work for the innkeeper. His job was to deliver meals to the homes of her customers. One day, Han Gang delivered a meal to the famous painter, Wang Wei. As he was leaving, he noticed some handsome horses behind the house, and could not resist sketching them in the sand. Intrigued, Wang Wei drew up behind Han Gang. And looked thoughtfully at his drawing. Then he told Han Gang to come back and see him the following day. Han Gang returned the next day to find that Wang Wei had prepared paper, ink. Brushes and a small sack of coins for him. Han Gan's heart swelled with this recognition. Han Gan drew from sunrise to sunset. More than anything, he loved to draw horses, always trying to make them. Seem as real and alive as possible. He was so talented that several years later, the emperor, who had heard a great deal about him, summoned him to the palace to enter the academy for official painters. At the academy. Han Gan refused to perfect his craft by imitating the works of the Asian masters, as his teacher asked him to do. He only wanted to paint horses, which, strangely enough, he always painted tethered. Why do you always draw your horse hinged up? His friends asked him one day. Because, Han Gan replied, "My horses are so alive; they might leave right off the paper." From this time on, people began to whisper ever stranger things about the horses of Han Gan. Some time later, in the deepest darkness of a silent night, a great warrior came to see Han Gan as he worked in his studio. My visit must remain secret. The warrior said, "The enemy is at our gates. Tomorrow, I must go and fight." I have heard that your horses are more real than nature, and that your magic brush can make them come to life. If I asked you, could you bring to life a steed more valiant and spirited than has ever before existed? I can try," Han Gan replied.
Han Gan started to draw with all his heart and soul, but the horse that he created did not come to life. Please carry on. It is crucial," the warrior insisted. "I'm sorry," said Han Gan. "This drawing is worthless. It deserves only to be thrown into the fire." At the moment that he threw away the paper. An extraordinary steed bounded out from between the flames. The warrior hurled himself onto his mount and disappeared with him into the night. Take care of your horse, Han Gan called after him. But only the moon was there to hear him. The horse that had come to life had no need of water, food, or sleep. When he galloped, his hoofs barely touched the ground. As for the warrior, he had never felt so mighty. But these victories did not satisfy him. He wanted to fight again and again until he no longer had a single living enemy. Sadness overcame the horse. He looked around at the defeated, and the dead, and at the wounded and dying horses, and suddenly he began to cry. Throwing off the warrior in the middle of the battlefield, the horse, still covered in blood, broke into a powerful gallop. Nothing and no one could have stopped him. The warrior searched desperately for the horse. He searched for him over thirty-six days and through thirty-six nights. One autumn morning, he arrived in front of Han Gan's house. The horse that you gave me has disappeared. He said to Han Gan. Do you know where he is? Yes, I do. Han Gan replied. Do you see this painting? In it, I painted five horses. One morning, when I arose, I found a sixth. It is here in my painting that your horse now lives.